Rider, I guess. Filibuster here, back with episode 13. Lucky episode. We are uh, in a legendary Franks campaign, and we are absolutely steamrolling. So we have Rebellion in Germania. Office secured for our adopted son. Uh, here we go, it's a Lengabard Rebellion up here. So we are going to finish off the Burgundians here. Clever King get that distinct honor and these <laughs> Gauls man what a military alliance where they're just absolutely helping me do everything that I need to do when it comes to public order oh this is just god 3200 against the remaining six I would have actually kind of liked to fight that although it would have just been pikemen I would have run them down easily my catapult. Kill them. This is what happens when you declare war on the Franks, Burgundians. This is what happens. Slade. Absolutely slayed. So there's going to be quite the quite the issue in that province. We've actually got positive public order here. Bring my army a little further south to be of more use. So it did show the Burgundians getting wiped out, right? No, there's still more. What the hell? Oh, no, they're gone. Alright, good shit. That war is concluded. Let's take out this rebellion real quick. Just mopping up, mopping up here. Uh, it's gonna be a couple turns of some quick building, I think. We have no immediate threat right now, and, and we just secured a large amount of territory, so the best thing we can do is just build it up as quick as possible. Get that going, and, and you know, by the time all those buildings are coming online, then we can, like, really just start to make our move. So we will keep just skeleton forces here. This is enough to take down any rebellion. Get rid of that artisan and build a chieftain's house to kind of get that public order under control. It's a really stupid configuration to have. Um, and so that's a regular and Luke Fordham. So it's these two right here. We've got negative 10, even though we've got three chieftain's houses here. Um, so I don't know about that. We've got Puzzle 4 here, we're fine in this province. Okay, we're already converting those, so we need to convert these. We will get Berg going this turn. And I think we relocate. Look at this guy over here. I don't care how tired you are. We'll probably disband this guy. 8k. We're gonna get 8k gold. Ah, so I get a bunch of it's a weird glitch. <laughs> Just get these flood of notifications. Alright, character has an unassigned unit. We've got a governor. Give him some governor like. Probably reinforcing, I think. Construction and research. Religious influence, Germanic paganism, don't need that. Yeah, I think I go construction. Maybe public order. Order and sanitation. That's not where I want there, that's where I want 
So who's the governor of... Who's the governor of that? McLeod. Question is, how do I get there? Oh my god. Yeah, I gotta the go in here. Yeah, a few governor details. Shh, quiet, back. quiet. And we are gonna give him the public order and sanitation. So it should fix that. And the turn. I mean, that would be just, like, if I get, you know, five to seven turns to just build up right now, I should be pretty unstoppable the rest of the campaign. Because I've got some, you know, I've got a very nice sized empire here for this early in the game. And if I just push north, they're, they're very isolated. I can, I can double the size of my empire. I think it's going to require me declaring war on, you know, five different factions. But I could just double size the empire. The other option, too, is to go on the crusade, which I've been talking about. We'll have to see the Gepids want a non-aggression pact. Do we dare ignore the other world? No, I don't even know you, bro. Might want to take your shit over. Magyars. So I wonder what Gaul does. Maybe Gaul takes his war to the Western Romans. Gaul is just... We have definitely had a mutually beneficial relationship. To now. Rebellion imminent in Germania. Right here. I've got armies ready to put it down. King's on rebellion duty. We're about to have one up in here. Just gonna give him a skeleton. Skeleton army. That should be just plenty there. And we are gonna have to... I think we're going to send this guy up north. We're going to make sure that we have these guys scouted. The Jutes are, I think, are further down here. Is there any sort of Jute action? These are Danes. Here's, yeah, here's a Jute. So they're, like, fighting the Western Romans. I could definitely backstab them and wouldn't have anything to worry about. So I think the next one's going to secure this thing. Because I definitely want to take on these Geats. Look at this massive army up there just chilling for now however I am going to upgrade like crazy we're going to start with probably my capital so we'll get meeting all here Anything else I can build real quick with this last 16? Probably not. Ooh. Or just repair. We're just going to fly through these next turns. And I mean, probably just going to auto resolve this rebellion that's going to show up. It's not going to be worth looking around at. wonder if I should cancel my agreements now. With those northern factions. I'm trying to think of what the turn cooldown is I want to say it's 10 but that seems a little bit a little bit long to me I think it's probably five defensive alliance oh, these guys I ask humbly for a treaty let's see so friends with the Ostrogoths and Illyria which is like over here I think or in Bithynia 
They're at war with the Eastern Romans. Ooh. I mean, the, the Eastern Romans probably can't do anything to me. But right now, as of this turn, <laughs> I'm at war with the Western Romans only, and I'd like to keep it that way. Gaul is just, with these stacks, I, I hope you guys are having as much fun watching that as I am. Berlin and Germania. Destroyed already. Disease outbreak. Wow. Need to raise a fleet. Now we'll get plus one experience for all recruits. Not sure I need the fleet right now. The shadows. Looks like the Geats are getting a little rowdy with these Rusians up here. Not sure where the Rusians' other stack is. They definitely wouldn't only have those four, I believe. Doesn't make much sense. Uh, we're gonna keep building, keep building. Um, da -da -da -da. We gotta upgrade some skills real quick. We're gonna keep it in the home province. Let's see, we've got. I don't think I need the paganism. We don't actually necessarily need to upgrade that. Maybe we get tradable goods. We try to prioritize tradable goods. Speaking of which, I don't even have solid oversight on my part. I'm going to destroy the wood carvers so I can get these furs up in here. Doesn't seem right. Uh, we're going to take a quick look before we start building a lot at what our religion is looking like. So we've got really good Germanic paganism. Yeah, it's just not even my control. So we're good. We're really good on religion here. So we don't necessarily need to build any more religion buildings. Upgrade the lead there. If I to get plenty of soul, we actually have two ports in this region. I think I'm going trade jetties in both of them. This is actually going to be a very wealthy province for me. I do, however, need to get rid of that and get a sanitation building. There's quite the sanitation issue going on here. We're going to get rid of the artisan as well because we can build the sanitation building in there. But we're actually going to have big commercial, big commerce and industry coming out of that province. But the rebellion here. It's just, uh. We're going to keep it in the family here. I'll actually stall the rebellion one more turn. We're gonna go. Go, go, go. I think this turn, perhaps, I will cancel, or I will cancel these treaties. I want to say it's five turns. I keep thinking it's ten, but I want to say it's five. And what I'm saying is the penalty to getting, um, you know, getting any uh, negative diplomacy for attacking a surprise war, declaring a surprise war against uh, another faction. I think I'm just going to ignore Britain if I can and if they ignore me. I kind of think it's cheating taking Britain, Great Britain. I mean it's just like whenever I do a, a, a horde faction like the Swaby or 
you know, the Alamans, but probably not the Alamans, but the Swaby definitely. You just take those guys into Ireland and start your empire there and just go. As long as you win that first battle, you're pretty well set. Ah, legitimate child. I'll take it, man. Have all the babies. Have all the babies. Rebellion in two places. We have rural migration. Oh, it's a grandchild, huh? It's a grandfather at 35. <laughs> Yo. Alright. So, yep, we got both of our rebellions coming here. We're in good shape for those. I really need a well right there. Yeah, I think I do. I'll make this industry, and I could actually make one of these industrial as well. actually get the, the public order religious building here and get rid of this chieftain's house instead I'm gonna get some industry here I think I got a little bit of sanitation to spare I think that's the way to go I've got sanitation issues in each region in this province, so go upgrading to Trows Trows should uh, fix that. And I'm a max limit on agents. Spreading the good word. I think we just oh, you know what I need to do. Keep keep exploring with this scout. That's what I'll do. And then get this guy over here. Keep an eye on these geats. We'll keep going. Keep going. Sorry for the uh, inconvenience that this provides, but definitely will allow me to field some more advanced stacks that are more fun to watch especially more fun to just steamroll everyone I really hope it's not 10 turns for uh, the diplomatic penalty if it is I'll probably just end up tanking it might kind of ruin going in but we're going into like the mid game late game but it's worth trying it like basically if I declare war <coughs> on a faction that's moderately well liked I'll probably start with the Rugians because they're not well liked but if I declare war on a faction that's you know, well liked it's just I tough ah uh, the Morians I really have no, I mean, the Gaul, Alliance of the Gaul is the only alliance that I need right now. I mean, eventually we're going to have to fight each other, but for the far foreseeable future, it's definitely not going to be the case. Rebellions. Rebellions are eliminated. That's the tough part about the legendary sometimes. If you're wondering why the, the move, screen's just jerking every time as you look up at the top, it says game saved. Ready for orders. Kinda wish they'd have some less intrusive way of doing that. Um Damn, we're kinda SOL on this, aren't we? For the tribe! 
No need to risk any sort of bad roll on these auto resolves. Just bring all the troops there. If we were fighting them, they'd be just as just boring. When your feet bleed, you can moan. When your feet bleed, you can moan. Destroy them. Ready for battle. Ah, we got a little upgrade there. Okay, and then before we forget, I want hourly patrols. So the Russians are the first target, and I have no things with them. Oh, and the Jutes are just the easiest second target there is. Welcome. We will talk and then. They have no, no allies to speak of. The Geats have the Rusians as a defensive ally. All right, we're gonna get, we're gonna get real here, guys. We're gonna get real here. We're just breaking off all diplomatic ties to the north. This might necessitate a speeding up of. Training units. Getting our furs and what do we say here? Industry, didn't we? So we get an artisan. Warriors all ready for order. Set up the watch for the tribe. Okay. We need good fighters. Got a couple horse there just in case. the logging camp. I think I want to upgrade the logging camp. I definitely think I want to upgrade the logging camp. Actually, I need to upgrade the chieftain's hall, don't I? I don't want to keep troops down here forever. Ready for battle. I want this... these guys to move up here, so I think I'll keep these two down here. Next turn I'll move him over and then move this guy up here. And it'll be this guy and this other guy. My king and this other guy who will take the plunge into Scandinavia. I like the <laughs> no. I like me. Nope. Better get that army back up from Spain. It's kind of a cheap shot, but I don't really give a shit. So there's that. I mean, if taking over these three settlements here is just going to put me in such an amazing position. Because I will not have a single enemy to the north. And not a single enemy to the west. Not a single enemy to the southwest. And the only place to go would be to so go south. So I think we are going to make this a crusade game. Once I have only the south to worry about, I will keep minimal forces at home. And we're going to send my king on a motherfucking crusade. And we're just going to sack the shit out of all, all this stuff. We're going to hit i show you what's going on here. Uh, yeah, let's block the promotion. We're going to hit Constantinople first. I think that's the goal. Let's to hit Constantinople first. And then we're probably going to come down here and hit Egypt. And nail Egypt. Come, come through over here and try to get Rome. We're just going to sack everything. I think it'll work. I just, I think it'll work. We're for sure going to do Constantinople. Because that's the Eastern Romans. 
and we don't like those guys. Damn, got another rebellion burning here. Is this about to be a yeah, it's about to be a civil war, isn't it? Shit. For the tribe. Huh. Ready for orders. Do your duty, my warriors. Oh, this is beautiful. We're gonna stop that civil war from happening. We've got Salian Frankish Lancers, which is what these guys are. Or Germanic Lancers. I think it's probably just to keep with the Salian Frankish. Don't want to train them up too quickly, you know. want to keep some sort of... Uh, some sort of income. Are you ready to do your duty to the tribe? Ready for orders. Call this a garrison. Do your duty, my warriors. Yeah, and then I'm just gonna keep keep one hitting these rebellions, I think. For the tribe. Yeah, everything just public order just got negative all of a sudden. Not upgrading these fishing jetties because I'm not sure if I might want to make this a uh, either commercial port or a military port. Intrusions Cavalry Guard. Yes, please. Oh, so the Rusian stack is here. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna hit a rumble in the jungle there. They almost have three bloody full stacks. Three full stacks. Okay, Governor McClue, huh? Let's hope about that corruption. Governor McClue. God, this is not going to be the easiest war I've ever fought. Definitely not going to be the easiest war. I'll have to take the Rusians out with very minimal casualties. Which may actually... Yeah, that's the play. I should have done it this turn, actually, this past turn. I'll raise the navy for the plus one recruit or experience all recruits bonus. And then I'll actually train a navy up to come by sea whenever we take the Rusians. I could probably just disband them right after that. Could help on the Geats a bit. Having a navy means that they'll, the Geats will have to take their army over the land. So they won't be able to kind of just throw them in the North Sea and sneak attack. Or not sneak attack, but just attack without being forced into a choke point. So we got our two rebellions. Rampant piracy. It's unfortunate. Yeah, that's what we're going to do here. The navigator is the black tide. So we got five turns remaining. We're getting more uh, experience for our recruits. Uh, take care of these rebellions real quick. actually gonna get out of the range, isn't he? Better not. Move out. Wipe them out. Dude just got decapitated. Getting on our way. Ready for orders. Yeah, these guys are 
guys are just majorly pissed at us. Majorly pissed. Gonna make the Chieftain's Hall. Let's see, I'm not taking any casualties there, so I can keep fighting those. Bring my commander up here. Let's see, what do I want to build to fill this out? I think I do need a couple of these guys, and then a couple of spearmen. I mean, ideally, I'd have some sort of melee troops there, I think. Like these war bands. Might actually be able to roll with this next turn. We might actually just be able to roll with that. If you can't tell, I'm getting a little antsy here. Generally, just like to be in a constant state of warfare. The Geats are pissed. Yeah. Yeah, what now? Broken treaty. Yeah, they're mad pissed at me. Look at that. Saxons are pissed at me too. Go to your dick. I am sure you have many pleasantries for me, but please. All right, we're gonna end this turn. I think. I think we should be good to go here. This next turn. Gonna have to. Uh, hope that my, I'm try, I was trying to think, I think I'm getting about 3,500. I think I'm about to take like a 1,500 hit on my upkeep. Oh, the Geats. Oh, the Geats are making plays, aren't they? Look at this. Look at this. All I had to do was bait them into attacking me. I can actually train another navy real quick and deal with this stack. This isn't even a threat right now. Unless they pull some shenanigans and like land right in here. I think they're trying to go down for Flavum. Be able to intercept with like, you know, six units. I'm assuming there's two, I think there's usually two um, ships that I can hire as mercenaries. Usually at least. Oh, the Rusians are Oh, they're trying to declare war on me before I can declare war on them. Oh, this makes me so proud watching this happen. No. Oh. Okay, we are actually going to call this an episode. So this will be, if there's an episode you want to skip, if there is one, it would be this one, I would think. Because it's just turn after turn. I don't even think we fought a battle here. So we're going to call that the episode. We are going to eagerly begin our wars against these northern Scandinavian tribes the next episode, and then we'll go from there. Thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you all next time.